their hands or they grab their keys. So let me borrow Julius. So I have the Kimura, and let's say he grabs his key. And he, you can go ahead and grab tight. So he grabs his key. So once again, I don't lock my legs. I'm going to move because I'm, I'm going to shrimp here. I'm going to put my knee. Like, can you lift up a little bit, bro? I'm gonna put my, see, I put my knee on his hand. Now, I'm going to push my knee, and I'm going to straighten my back. Oh, you let go. So, hold on tight. Don't let go. Put my knee on his hand, pushing into his hand with my knee as I straighten my back and pull. Oh, you let go. Great. Cash. So, what, it, what I'm doing here is I'm causing a number of things to happen to his hand that are going to be uncomfortable. And I'm er using my back muscles, not my arm muscles. Like, I don't want to be pulling with my arm trying to break his grip. It's like, man, good luck with that. So it's like, out, find the hand. If I can find that hand, I push, got it. You know, from here, now I can switch my hips, and I got it. So whether he grabs or even if, um, you know, like he holds both of his hands together. It's just shrimping, knee on the hand, out. Now back to the Kimura the way you did it. So that's, I'm sorry, bro. That's probably my most popular grip break that I do. Somebody grabs and I just put my knee. So I'm just putting that knee like dead on that hand and then extend and pull. And it's very uncomfortable. And just understand, back to the pit bull concept, like I don't have to break your grip in five seconds. You can look up the clock and be like, oh, there's a minute and 35 seconds left in the round. Good luck, bro. Because you know what I'm doing to your hand and I'm pulling. Can you hold that long? We'll see. So that's the pit bull concept of the Kimura. All right, let's do this grip break.